Hey. It's, <laughs> I, I'm going to pretend like this is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, Anti-Procrastination Day. I am grabbing a piece of paper. I want you to grab a piece of paper because we are going to do some some missions in our bathroom today because we're in zone three which is our main bathroom of our house and we're going to uh, we're going to get some things done we haven't done before so i want you to go into your bathroom and shut the door behind you yeah sometimes we just have to shut the door and uh calgon take us away but what we're going to do is we're going to do some anti-procrastination missions in your bathroom so i'm going to think about bathroom so uh, looking straight ahead you usually for me it's i'm looking at my bathtub so i'm going to clean empty bottles you know how they pile up around the tub i'm going to get rid of them I'm going to recycle them, do whatever. That's my first mission. Number two, we're going to look to the left. We're going to look to the left. That's my vanity. So I'm going to look underneath my sink and see if there's some things under there that I need to declutter and get rid of. So declutter under sink. Number three. We're going to look to the, I'm going to look to the right and to the right is my toilet and my shelves. So I'm going to, um, do a, a detailed clean around the toilet, which means I'm going to get out my rubber scrubber. You got it? Uh, detail clean. That's what our, our missions are about. Detail clean around the toilet. Okay, number four, we're, we're doing six missions. Number four, six missions. We're, um, we're going to mop the bathroom floor. Mop bathroom floor. Number five, we're going to clean our mirror. You know those dental floss home runs. And number six, we're going to wipe down the counter and the sink. Now, it, I clean the tub when I'm in the tub. But if you need to clean your tub, then, then get it done. I'm going to, but I'm going to put wipe down sink and tub on here now if you have a shower you clean the shower when you're in the shower now we're going to play the game again i'm going to roll the dice and i got it right here and i'm going to roll it we're doing number two this is what you really dread i know it we're going to declutter underneath our bathroom sink i want you to go in there and pull out five things to get rid of five things to get rid of and you can do this you can do this because we're going to make our bathrooms presentable. And you know what? They're, it's going to be a present to you. A present to you. Not anybody else. Just a present to you. This is, this is your clean bathroom. Now I'm doing this. Uh, this is anti-procrastination for zone three. We're in zone three this week. We're in zone three. Our bathroom. So we're anti-procrastination day in zone three. Our bathrooms. Uh, I have no sound. Well, I don't know why you don't have any sound. I... Yeah, this week we're in zone three. So give me some thumbs up if you got sound. Everybody, thumbs up if we got sound. Uh, I don't have a cupboard. In... Well, you're blessed to not have a cupboard in your bathroom. That's really good. Yeah, I'm getting sound. We got sound. We're good. We're good. So, I forgot to set the timer. I'm setting it now. So, we're decluttering under the sink. Grab five things that don't belong there. Yep, five things that don't belong there. 
I wish I was doing this right with you. <laughs> I can already see things that need to get get out of there. Yep. Because I got all my hair stuff and I have short hair. So rollers don't fit in my hair. I don't use a curling iron. I don't do any of that stuff. So I've got to box all that stuff up and maybe give it to somebody who needs it. So the next thing we're going to do, well, I'm waiting on the timer because I got a late start here. We're giving you a little extra declutter time and that's always good. Uh, it's always good. Thanks for helping out, y'all, for some that can't hear. Maybe she can hear the video when I post it. I'm going to upload it to YouTube so it'll be there. Anti-procrastination day challenge for zone three. I may do one of these for each zone we're in. That'd be kind of cool. Thank you. I went to bed with it wet and it was sticking up everywhere this morning. And the dogs... We had the grand dog with us. It was, they had a raccoon last night on the back deck. It was not fun. And we woke up this morning freezing because we left the door open so they could go in and out as they wanted to. Anyway, it's all good. You should play some music. I don't know about playing music right now. I, I want to get this all done. So 12 more seconds. I'm going to roll the dice and see which one we're going to do next. We're going to do the bathtub. So here we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean out the empty bottles, shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles. I have um, little bottles of essential oils in my tub. So we're going to clean those bottles out and get them into recycling. Are you ready? Set, go. It doesn't take long to do this. Grab a bag or just grab them up and go put them where they belong. Get them out of your tub. Get them out of your tub. We're detail cleaning our bathroom. We're doing some anti-procrastination missions because good Lord knows we have procrastinated a long time on getting our bathroom clean. Yep getting our bathroom clean so let's get this done let's get this done because it's going to be a blessing to you it's going to be a blessing to you because you deserve to have a bathroom that makes you feel welcomed and if you're drinking your water you're spending a lot of time in your bathroom and you can do a mission every time you go into your bathroom you can you can make one of these lists and post it on the mirror Post it on the mirror so every time you go in there, you can mark one off. We can do this. We can do this. 30 seconds. How do you keep your bathroom from smelling like a what? How do you keep your bathroom from smelling like a public bathroom? You're going to have to detail clean around the toilet because I bet you got little boys. And wipe down the edges of the toilet because they dribble and it, it goes down the edges of the toilet. And that's why it smells bad. I remember that when Justin was little. Yep. All boys have this issue. And you may need to keep some Cheerios in, on the back of the toilet in a little jar. And you put Cheerios in the toilet for them to hit the Cheerios and sink them like little ships. That helps with potty training. Okay, next thing we're going to do is number six. Number six, I'm setting the timer. We are going to wipe down our sink and counters and wipe down our tub, corners of our bathtub, and we're going to get all that wiped down. And take your purple rag and do it. It makes cleaning easy. Yep, it makes it easy. You can do this. You really can. It's, it's just a simple matter of having the list in front of you. It's detail cleaning your bathroom. It's not going to take long. Six items, two minutes each, 12. It's doing a swish and swipe, but you're doing a detail cleaning each time. You're doing a detail cleaning each time. And it's 12 minutes. You can do anything for 12 minutes. You can do anything for 15 minutes. But you, 
Every time you go to the bathroom, do one. Every time you, if you've got many bathrooms in your house, go to a different bathroom each time you have to go potty. It's going to change your life. It really is. This will be, we can do this. We really can do this. So we are doing number six, which is wiping down our sink and our bathtubs. Just a quick once around. It's going to be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. It just has to be done. So I'm going to be posting this in the message that goes out on, on Wednesday. This will be our message that goes out on Wednesday in the flight plan. This will be posted there because this is when I would do this on Wednesdays. And it's the flight plan for Thursday is when this is going to go out. But uh, just go ahead and have, have some fun. Have some fun. And this is going to be good. Okay. I'm going to roll the dice again. Number three. We're going to detail clean around your toilet. So grab your rubber scrubber. Get, get some soapy water. I like to put a little shampoo down on the floor. Just a little bit of old shampoo that I don't like and a little bit of water and scrub around the, the base of your toilet because it can get grungy. Ready, set, go. And just grab your rubber scrub and do it. Grab your, um, your, your sweeper. This works too. This is what I clean my bathroom floor with. This sweeper does a great job on bathroom. I have an outdoor tile on my bathroom floor because I, I didn't want to fall with a slick tile and it works well on my rough coated tile. Okay. We're getting stuff done. Let me mark things off that we've done. We've cleaned empty bottles. We've detailed around the toilet. We've Wiped around that. We're good. We got three things done. Oh, and we decluttered under the sink. So we've done four things. Done four things. Well, we're not doing a swish and swipe. We're doing detailed cleaning. Detailed cleaning is our missions, but we're doing anti-procrastination day missions because a lot of you don't do the missions. You don't look at the missions. You don't care about the missions. So I'm putting it in front of your face. We're going to do the missions because I want your home and your bathroom especially to bless you. I don't want you to be a stranger in your own bathroom because it's a mess. So let's get some stuff done. 18 seconds left. It's all good. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice again. We need a four or a five. Number five. Take your purple rag, wet and one dry, and we're going to clean our whole mirror. Not just spots. We're going to clean the whole mirror. Now, if you want to use Windex, that's fine too. I love Windex. But here we go. Ready? Set, go. We're cleaning our mirror. That's it. And you can wipe down your counters too if you want to, but the main thing's the mirror. And when you clean th clean out from underneath your bathroom sink, you make room for a place for your, a basket for your makeup so that everything can be put back in place. My granny always taught us everything has a place and everything in its place that simple if it doesn't have a place it's going to sit out if it doesn't have a place it's going to sit out in the open everything needs a place behind a door in a basket on a shelf everything needs its own place 
And if you declutter the 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 crap that's in these little cubby holes, you're going to have room for this stuff. You're going to have room for this stuff. You can do it. You can do it. And having a place for everything, having your makeup, I have a drawer that my makeup sits in. I have three things of makeup, a lipstick, um, a blush, and I have a, a little glass jar that has my powder in it. And I do my face and it takes 30 seconds to put my makeup on y'all. 30 seconds. I do the swish and swipe on the face. <laughs> and I can get in here pretty quick. 25 seconds to go. Yep. 25 seconds to go. We're cleaning the bathroom mirror. And we just like lack one thing. That one thing is mopping the floor. And I'll leave you with that one. We're going to mop the floor. Now, I like to put some hot soapy water down. And we have a, a great mop, our mop bucket system. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that because we won't have that long because they're selling fast. So we got one more. It's number four. And I'm just going to tell you what that is because there's one left because we'd have to roll the dice a lot of times. We're going to mop our bathroom floors. So take your time doing it if you want to. Scrub the floor good. Get, you know, get some hot soapy water down there and scrub it really good with your broom. And then take an old towel and get it all up. And you're going to be so surprised at how clean and fresh smelling your bathroom is going to be. You could do this, folks. It's less than 15 minutes and it's done. It's done. I love you all. I will talk to you later. Three o'clock this afternoon. Tea time. Yep. And Leanne will be on at one in an hour. So catch Leanne's show. Talk to you later. She's always at one o'clock. I'm always at three o'clock and 11. See ya. Let's get those floors mopped. Bye.